Hi everyone, I'm back. And today, I'm gonna show you all how to make strawberry pie. My cousin asked if I knew how to make strawberry pie. Of course I know how to make strawberry pie. And not only do I know how to make strawberry pie, but I make the best strawberry pie around town. If you wanna make Gina Young strawberry pie, here's what you will need. You will need a package of strawberry Kool-Aid. Strawberry Kool-Aid, Gina? Yes, absolutely. Just trust me on this, guys, all right? You will need a can of sweetened condensed milk. You will need a container of Cool Whip. Instead of using graham cracker crust, I'm gonna use a chocolate pie crust. Okay, and this is made from chocolate cookies and you will need fresh strawberries. Make sure you have fresh strawberries. Don't use them frozen. So let me show you how this works. This recipe is so simple, so much fun, and yet it tastes so good. You hear me? Absolutely it does. Okay, so let me show you just how simple this is. We're gonna take and open your Cool Whip. Let's scoot those two ingredients aside. Let's make sure we get our camera down into the bowl so that you all can see. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna empty our Cool Whip into our large bowl, just like so. Everything that I do in my kitchen is so easy and the results are amazing. You hear me? A lot of people might say, you mean Kool-Aid? Like I can't understand that. I can't wrap my mind around it, Gina. Well. You just have to try it in order to understand it. You're gonna pour that whole thing of that sweetened condensed milk down into this bowl. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I love sweetened condensed milk. I could just, whoo, I could just eat this whole can, just with a spoon. Okay, let, let's make sure we get all of this out because you need all that goodness. All right, every bit of it just like so. Now, next, you're gonna go in with your whole package of strawberry Kool-Aid. Make sure you have an unsweetened Kool-Aid packet. You don't wanna get the Kool-Aid packages that are sweetened with sugar, okay? Because your Cool Whip and your sweetened condensed milk is gonna be your sweetener, all right? Get it all out of there. It's Saturday morning, and I told myself last night that I was gonna make this pie, and so here we are. This is a recipe that you can make for your sweetie pie for Valentine's Day. It's a beautiful color. Make this for your loved ones. Hey, you can make this for your grandma. You could make this for just about anyone and they will absolutely love you for it. Do you hear me? Absolutely. So you're just gonna go in and stir this until it gets nice and pink and everything is well incorporated, okay? So you keep on stirring until all of those white streaks turn to strictly pink, okay? I'm gonna continue to stir this up and so today I'm trying to figure out what videos I'm gonna to do today. Because today is the day before the Super Bowl. And I need to figure out what I'm gonna make for the Super Bowl. I know a lot of you are waiting on Super Bowl recipes and I'll figure it out. It's still early. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon here. And I have plenty of time to figure it out. I know today that I'm gonna do the garlic parmesan chicken wing that someone had requested. I'll do a recipe for that. And then I was thinking about doing some type of dip because when the Super Bowl is on, you want finger foods and you want things like dips that people can just go and grab and you don't have to worry about you know, like reheating anything. And dips are a perfect way to enjoy your Super Bowl. I have a great Rotel 
and Velveeta dip that I do that would be just perfect for the Super Bowl. And what else was I going to do? I know I'm going to do a couple desserts here. I'm going to make some barbecued wings. I was thinking about making some homemade onion rings. This is well incorporated to where we have no streaks. And it turns a little thick, believe it or not. See that? See how nice and thick? And the key is to let this sit long enough into your refrigerator so that it can thicken up even more. All right, so you wanna take and open up your pie crust. Honestly, if you wanted to use the graham cracker crust, you can. No, no problem there. You can use a pie crust if you wanted to. And what you would do if you were to use pie crust, you would bake that pie crust until your pie crust gets golden brown. And then you would take your pie crust out of the oven, let it cool down, and you would pour your, pour your mixture into here. Or you could even use, uh, what is it that I'm thinking of? Shortbread pie crust would be beautiful with this. It's like a shortbread cookie. And you would mix melted butter in the shortbread cookie. And you would pound them out. And then you would just press it into your pan just like so. To where it would look just like this. But me, always have to go outside of the box. I wanted to use a chocolate pie crust. And this will make for such a beautiful pie. Something different than just the regular old graham cracker crust, right? So then we're gonna get this put in here. And make sure you make it look pretty. Don't just throw it in. When you put it in, smooth it out. Take your time. When you take your time and you have patience in the kitchen, oh, you're gonna have some good food, you hear me? Take your time to spread it out nicely. Oh yeah, look at this. And then we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for up to three hours. So I'll put my video on pause for those three hours and then I'll come back and we'll slice this bad boy. Now, I'm gonna let you know what it tastes like. Absolutely I am. This right here, this pie here, makes people go crazy you hear me you want somebody to go crazy on valentine's day or any day make them this pie and when they ask you oh because they're gonna ask you absolutely they're gonna ask you they're gonna say where the heck did you get that recipe from be sure to tell them gina young gina young showed me how to make it absolutely because you're gonna get some questions because this here, hoo-wee, mm, mm, mm. I literally can feel this getting thick right before my own eyes. That's how quick it starts to congeal up. And what does it is the uh, condensed milk, that sweetened condensed milk. Absolutely it does, okay? So keep on going, spread it out evenly. And I have to, guys, I have to give this a taste. I'm gonna take that little piece right there. I have to. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Don't let anybody, guys, listen to me. Don't let anybody tell you when you make this that you have to use strawberry jello. Don't do it. Don't listen to them, guys. Listen to Gina. All right? Let's keep going here. Smooth that bad boy out. Because what I'm seeing is the middle is really high. So what I'm trying to do right now is kind of make my middle nice and flat. I don't want a high lump. I want it to be flat and even all around. Even if I have to take some of this extra and just kind of put it, put it onto my bowl like that, okay? But I want to get rid of that extra lump. I want it to be nice and even. Take your time. Oh my goodness. It smells like we're making Kool-Aid in here. Don't you all love the smell of Kool-Aid being made? <laughs> like it perfumes your whole kitchen. Absolutely it does. Okay, now that I have my beautiful strawberry pie, nice and even, 
we can put this in the refrigerator for two to three hours. And then we'll come back and we're gonna try this bad boy. Oh yeah, okay. But before we do that, I have something special that I'd like to do. So if I can reach over my camera really quickly. All right. I have some fresh strawberries that I've washed off this morning. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut those strawberries just like so, okay? Just in half, just this way, okay? I'm gonna cut that green part off right there at the top. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna rearrange strawberries in this manner so that they can be nice and beautiful presentation. Take your time. There's no reason to rush when you're in that kitchen. Look at this. My husband is gonna love this dessert. Okay, just like so. Make it look beautiful. You could even, <clears throat> after this is done, you could put some white chocolate morsels on top. Possibilities are absolutely endless when you're in your kitchen and you are discovering different things, making new recipes. You can do just about anything. If you wanted to take some Hershey's chocolate, by far you can, absolutely you can. You could drizzle, um, like you could put someone's initial in the middle, or you could just drizzle a nice drizzle of uh, chocolate over top of these strawberries. My goodness. And you all know that chocolate and strawberries go together. Oh, you know it goes together. So, do anything. You could put, if your kids are making this, you could let the kids put sprinkles. You know the different colored sprinkles? I'm gonna kinda of push my strawberries in a little bit. All right, just push them in. You could let the kids use the uh, Sprinkles, the colorful sprinkles. That would be beautiful. Let the kids get in the kitchen with you. And when they get in the kitchen with you at a young age, they begin to understand foods and recipes, how they work, and they'll eat the food. Even if the kids are in the kitchen with you making vegetables, they'll have a bigger chance of eating it because they participated in the process the cooking process okay just like this guys look at this is this beautiful or what I have to eat that one guys um mm. so now I just noticed that I don't have my ring on but I wanted to put it out there that I am still married <laughs> I'm still happily married I just need to put my ring on absolutely I'm gonna put my ring on once I go get dressed <laughs> okay so here's this and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put strawberries right here in the middle and we're gonna finish it off just like so make sure to press your strawberries down in there a little bit and I'm gonna use one more piece to finish off look at this oh wow God bless this dessert look at this this right here is what Jenny Young calls Strawberry Pie 101. If you never had this before, you better make you some. You better make you some and give it a try because it's so easy and it tastes so good. Let's get this in the refrigerator. I'll be back after a couple hours. We'll slice down to here. We'll slice down into this pie and I'll be back. Okay, everybody, it's been three hours later. Let's just see how our beautiful strawberry pie has set up for us. All right, pull this aluminum back and feed your sweetie, your kids, your coworker, your neighbor, a nice strawberry pie for Valentine's Day. Put just some chocolate chips on top of there if you want. Okay, let's find a beautiful place to cut this. Just go right on in, Gina. Look at this. Hoo oh, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just going to cut a little piece. 
just like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with that fork and hope that it gives me a beautiful slice. Look at this, guys. Hold on. Come on out for me, baby. Look at this. Hold on, guys. Look at this. This right here is Strawberry Pie 101. All right, let's get it onto the plate. Right now, you can't actually see the bottom of the crust. Let me fix that so it stays nice and beautiful. Absolutely. Fix that up. Look down in here, guys. Look at that beautifulness. Is this beautiful or what? Be honest with me. And it's so tasty. You hear me? Mm, mm, mm. Okay, I have to taste this. I have to. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Woo -wee. Look at this. And you have that chocolate cookie crust at the bottom and on the side. Let's dig it. I'm going to let y'all know what it tastes like. I'm just going to take one bite of this, guys. I only need one bite, and that's it. God bless this dessert. Thank you, Lord, for feeding us today. All your blessings and taking care of us. Send your angels down to surround us day and night in your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Lord, please forgive us for our sins and have mercy on us and help us to have mercy on others. Fill us with an overwhelming sense of peace and joy and keep us safe in your arms. Thank you for today, Jesus. We love you. Amen. All right. Let's go right in, right where this crust is. You got to taste that crust. You gotta taste that crust and that strawberry. And of course, of course I'm gonna let you all taste this. I'm gonna give you all the first bite. Look at that right there. Taste that, guys. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. You ain't never tasted it. You've never tasted strawberry pie before until you've tasted Gina Young's. Hey, if you all enjoyed this recipe, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a great night. Good night. Look at that, guys. One more bite. Taste this right there. Hold on, guys. Taste that. One more bite. One more bite. Taste that. Good night. Look at that beautiful pie. Mm, mm, mm.